guys, Stephanie here with another Bibliophobes video and today I'm bringing you my February wrap up and March TBR. Can't believe it's already March. It's almost a year guys. But anyways, talking about something fun and new. I finally got the family heirloom. I'm so excited about this. So this bookshelf behind me is actually a bookshelf my brother-in-law made and they were getting rid of it. So I'm like, um, no, that's a family heirloom now. We have to keep it in the family. So I have it right now. I'll plan on passing it on to my nieces or nephews or whoever, but it is gonna stay in the family. It is so pretty. Like he, he built all this and like, I don't think you can see the top. So do this. Like, look at that. It is so pretty. He made it all himself. We'll get back there. But anyways, let's get on with what I read. So here's what I planned on reading in the month of February. I always have the literally the most ambitious TBR for the month of February. I don't know why I always do that to myself. And this is what I read. So I read not my list. Well, three were on the list. That's all I read. I'm pretty proud of this though. Um, I usually end up doing that. So I figured this is the format I'm going to do. I'm going to make a list and see if I keep to it. So this is what I did end up reading and we'll get into that. So the first book I read was Ali Strom. I think it's how you say it, Strom. And The Ring of Solomon by Justin Sloan. This is a middle grade book. It is a very, very cute middle grade book. It's about friendship, adventure, um, being brave, things like that. And it is such a heartwarming book. I absolutely enjoyed this book. So that's why I picked it up. It was on my Kindle for so long and I definitely want to continue on with the whole series because I do enjoy middle grade very much. So the next book that I read, Age of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. <sighs> Michael J, you cut me deep, but I enjoyed this book. This is the second book in the um, Legends of the First Empire series. So good. I cried, I laughed, I got angry, I got happy. There's a lot of emotions with this book and I am super, super, super happy that I read this book and I'm going to continue on with the next one, which is somewhere behind me, I think. I can't see, oh, it's right there. It's literally right there on my head. The next book that I picked up, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Now, the difference between Throne of Glass and this book is Throne of Glass has a lot more action in it. This one does not. This one is strictly, I think, romance. I DNF'd it. I tried. This is the third attempt of trying to read this book. I DNF'd it. I don't like romance. And I'm finding that out about myself that I actually detest romance. And as far as the book itself, I didn't enjoy it because I don't enjoy romance. Someone else that loves romance, I'm sure they will adore this book. Me, not so much. I like more adventure in my uh, reading. I like more action packed with some romance elements in it, but not just strictly romance. I got bored really easy. And I just, I don't know why I'm sorry, but I do still like the author. The next book that I picked up, Cress. The Lunar Chronicles. This is the third book in the series, Cress. And this is by Marissa Meyer. This book was so good. This is exactly how I like my books. It's action packed. It has a lot of adventure, a lot of suspense in it, but it also has romantic elements in it. Not so much with Court of Thrones and Roses. The last book that I read was Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This book, I have the audiobook and of course the physical copy. I decided to read both at the same time because I mean, if you haven't picked it up, you need to. Like, I don't know many people that don't enjoy this book. Usually it's the format that gets those people. Then listen to the audiobook and you'll, oh my gosh, it is so good. So this book, so, so good. So good. I am so happy that I picked it back up. I love all the characters in it. I love the suspense. I love the thrill. It's about many things. But this is about a planet called Carenza getting invaded by this company called Baytech. And 
there ends up being a lot of killing, a lot of and a lot of craziness going on, and it ends up being that these two, three ships are running for their lives from Baytech, and it is a love story. It is adventure. There is an AI that goes crazy in it, and it is super, super good. But it's not in the traditional format. It's all a, like texting back and forth emails, video surveillances, uh, audio surveillances. It's it's all really, really, really good. So that book it was amazing. So that is it. That is what I read in the month of February. Uh, let me know what you think down below. And I know this is kind of like a crazy-ish video, but that's kind of how my week has been going. It has been just an utter chaos. So in the month of March, there are quite a few people that are doing what's called middle grade March. And I figured I'm going to jump on the bandwagon with it. I heard about it on several places, uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube and even Pinterest for crying out loud. So here's what I plan on reading in the month of March. The first book that I plan on picking up is Tricked by Jen Col Colanita. I think that's how you say her last name. But this book is the third installment in the Fairy Tale Reform School, and it is about our main character, Gilly. And she is in the Reform School because she was a thief, and now she's being reformed, and she ends up being a hero. And you find out all the adventures that take place while she's in this schooling. And it, it's, it's kind of, it's endearing because you see her growing in each book as a character. And I absolutely love this series. The next book that I plan on picking up, this book, I did not know it was a book. I saw it as a movie first when I was a kid and I really want to read it as a book. And it's Miss Frisbee um, and the Rats of Nim by Robert, oh, there's a sticker on it. Oh, O'Brien, O'Brien, oh, Robert O'Brien. Sorry if I butchered the last name, but this book is about Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Remember now, I just read the back. I should have read this before I actually started filming this. But it is about Miss Frisbee and she is going on a quest because her youngest son, Timmy, is ill. The next book that I plan on picking up and that I actually meant to pick up a long time ago, that is Inkheart by Cornelia Funk. This book, from what I understand, there is this character that if she reads a book out loud, the book becomes real. Other than that, I know nothing about it. I've just wanted to pick it up for so long and I have the entire series, but it's time to get into this. The fourth book that I plan on picking up is Merlin, um, The Lost Years. This is about, obviously, Merlin and his story of how he became Merlin the Wizard for King Arthur. Um, I have started reading it. I'm not too far into it, but so far he is blind and that's all I know. The fifth book that I plan on picking up is The Princess and the Goblin. And if you grew up in the 90s, I'm not sure when this was made, but it was a very popular movie as a kid. And I, again, like Miss Frisbee and the Rats and Nim, I absolutely love this book. Um, or I love the movie. I really want to read it as a book. I, I never knew it existed as a book. I'm just learning all these things as an adult and it's like, it's totally awesome that I'm finding all these books that were movies that I had no clue were books. And then the last book that I plan on picking up in the month of March, that is Ranger's Apprentice, uh, book one, um, The Ruins of Gorlin. And this is by John Flanagan. Um, other than the fact that it's about a kid that's the Ranger's Apprentice, um, I don't know much about it, but I know a lot of people really like this series when they were kids, so, oh, and I got the cover upside down. Um, other than that, I don't know much about it. I do like going into a lot of the books blind, just knowing, like, little bits about it, like, if it's strictly romance or if it's middle grade. I like to know that stuff. That is it. That is what I plan on reading in the month of March. So there it is. Let's see if I actually stick to this. I doubt I will because I'm listening to a few books that have nothing to do with middle grade, but we'll see how it goes. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and let me know of if there's any other more movies that you watched as a kid that are books. Like for crying out loud, if I find out Five Will Goes West was a book and I never read it, I'm gonna be mad. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, this is Anna Bibliophobe signing off. Bye.